Hello, Todd Bog here with Breaking the Stream, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium 4, the Senator, no, wait, Emperor playthrough, uh, as we are now Emperor with our Empress, uh, Juno here. Um, so where we last left off, we had gotten our Senator over to the capital and crowned ourselves Emperor. We're saving up gold now because we want to be gods, uh, which is going to be important, because uh, you can use the special power here for Apotheosis. Uh, which uh, allows you to become a, uh, a god of some sort. So we'll see what that looks like. It can only be cast in temples, so we're in the right spot for it. We just have to wait for the gold to come in. So I'm excited. All right, so let's go ahead uh, with this army here. We have uh, 86 units, not enough to take on the enemy army uh, that's down here. But what we are going to do is push up and take over this tower bridge. So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, so that'll be a nice little fight there. Uh, here we've got uh, 78 units that can come over and do some damage here. Uh, what we're going to probably do is work our way towards this ancient forest so that we can incite revelry and see how long that'll last, right? So, all right. And then uh, we've got a bunch of scouting we could do, but we're going to save all the gold that we can. So you guys are going to stay put there. And I believe that is le all that's left is Emug. Uh, let's see. He was working his way up here, so we might as well do that. And then we can start working on taking all the territory down here. Uh, a lot of good stuff that we can take, and uh, we'll get us some more income so we can uh, get to our godhood a little bit faster, right? So I believe that is everybody. Um, so both uh, Todd Bog and Juno could become gods uh, because she is also capable of doing apotheosis. So we'll see what that looks like there. So, all right, we'll go ahead and turn. All right, so assassins did their thing. Spell casting is going to be big here, so. See, we're just murdering their line here. So, yeah, as you can see, the spell casting, even though it's a little bit, little bit, it just chips away because it's armor, ignores armor which includes the shields, so that's awesome here. So we're going to go ahead and recruit ourselves some Hestade. And the idea is we're going to kind of build up our forces here. We've got 83 units now, uh, so we've replaced some of our losses on the front line here. We can keep an eye out for some of the other forces we may get as well. Uh, at this point, with the snow, these are all hamlets. We want to get this magic library from them, but we're going to go ahead and take out this force here. It's kind of neat. Uh, prayer's level one, so it's a bishop fish, uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, apparently, the fishes also have an organized religion in order to worship their fish god in the proper way. Bishop fish is proof of this as it acts like the fish god's representative in an Elysium, freeing up the busy fish god to deal with more important matters. So, um, kind of seems like a joke, but who knows with the way they uh, they do their things. Uh, they could have some um, some deeper backstories than even that. I really like their world building. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun uh, reading through some of the stuff that they've created, especially for their Dominion series, which seems to have a lot of thought in the form of their... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, reasonings and background. And, uh, you know, it, it seems to have grown a little more organically than you might see in some other... Uh, franchises for sure so all right emug we're gonna get in, begin that slow descent down south you guys are waiting around for more gold it is winter unfortunately so um but we are making our progress here so okay we'll go ahead and turn so we've already murdered the priest so these guys are actually pretty pretty beefy they got 15 hit points one armor and they hit for one to seven damage so they're, they're definitely something to uh be concerned about they also have a shield as well so they've got one to two armor essentially um depending on the roll okay so we're at 564 gold so pretty soon we'll have that godhood we're looking for uh let's see she is still here 154 units so i think we're okay these guys can go here, and we'll knock out some boars and uh, incite some revelry, so that'll be cool. This group right here, 
So we will move Terminus out. And Terminus can float, float, and we'll float here. And the rest of you guys can come up. So Terminus is going to be very useful for probably de or de capping these forests so they don't get their resources from the herbs or whatever they're going to get. And as you can see, my many revelers are starting to spread out amongst the world and give me scouting on top of, of course, uh, you know, uh, capturing anything that we haven't captured. Although in this local area, only thing we have to get is this iron mine and this iron mine here. So we'll see if we get to those. Uh, they left the city, so that's going to be helpful. Um, hopefully they'll continue to march away from any of those structures. Here we're coming down. And looks like that's it. So, okay. Go ahead and end turn. If I seem like I'm speaking a little quicker than I usually am, it's because I uh, do drink caffeine, but I only do it once a, a week. So Fridays is my caffeine day, sort of helps me with work and things like that. Um, so I can finish out the, the week strong and everything. Um, not really doing it for any other reason other than uh, it just seemed like something I could control, my intake of caffeine. Um, do I sleep better? It's hard to say, but uh, overall I, uh, I find it's pretty easy to stick to that and uh, does give me a little more range on the drinks that I drink, so kind of neat for that reason. All right, 739, we're getting close. All right, I believe Emug is the only one left. So we'll go here, kind of swing down to the gem deposits, might as well swing low and then just sweep. All right, I believe that is everybody there. So we'll go ahead and actually let's let's go here real quick. And what I'm going to do, because they could catch us here, obviously, is I'm going to do a bit of a scry. And what I'm looking for is just to see if they have any hidden units. They don't. It's a very traditional force, and it'd be a. Uh, I think we would win simply because we have all these mages. Um, but it definitely would be a, a bit of a fight, uh, for sure, so. Um, all right, and I believe that's all she wrote there. Okay, good. They're gonna ignore us. We get to see this, though, because we scried it, so. As you can see, really not much else we can do there. Five archers, beautiful, okay. And we're one turn away from getting uh, our first godhood, so that'll be cool. All right, so here, um, we can go ahead and take this out. Uh, that'll allow us to do some recruiting. We might as well recruit ourselves some, let's see. We're going to do some ballista there. That keeps them going there, so we're good there. Um, do I want to take this? I may not. We may want to push into the academy. Um... And that'll give us control of this area here. So let's see. Well, I only have one movement point anyway. So let us take Terminus out. Terminus, you can go ahead and do this, this, and this. And then the rest of us can move in with Terminus as well. And then here, Galb, this is going to go ahead and incite some revelry. And then we've got archers to hire. So let's do that here, shall we? Just because archers are useful. All right, and I believe we have just, let's see, I'm trying to think. I think this is our best move. Looks like we lost the gem deposit here to something, so uh, I guess we can find out what. I do have the scrying. I should remember to use it. So scry, uh, let's see, gem deposit. Two lake trolls. Not going to be able to fight them with my 17 gobos for sure. So I'll have to keep that in mind. All right. I think that is it for me. Those lake trolls have lasted quite a while. So, all right. Apotheosis. Here we come. Oh, look at how tall I am. You can't even see my name. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Let's see. <laughs> The icon sticks up even above this frame. That's hilarious. All right. So this is Todd Bog, the God Emperor. 
I can't even see my face. It's so high up there. Or maybe that's an intentional obfuscation of the uh, of the face of God. Uh, but I cast spells twice. Storm magic, level 3. Solar magic, level 3. Um, so these are the spells we know. Lightning storm is just phenomenal. 1 to 14 damage. Armor negating. 12 bounces at a range of 2 and a range of 10 overall. And it stuns. Friendly storm hits all friends with air shield, uh, which will protect them against any archery. Um, you've got Army of the Sun, which uh, gives awe to a burst of 25. So awe being a unit trying to attack it must pass morale tests to do so, and range attacks are not affected. So God Flesh. So this one gives fire resistance, awe, armor, plus two, slash resistance, blunt resistance, pierce resistance. It doesn't affect ethereal beings, so cast that on himself, and he becomes uh, darn near un unkillable. Um, 164 hit points, no armor, but... Uh, he is giant size and uh, still enables the recruitment of the Praetorian Guard. So, so very cool. And then, of course, solar rays and solar flare. So, uh, so my little meek senator, who was doing one to two damage with his fists, is now a god. So, I well, took a little magic too. Um, so yeah, this is pretty amazing. So, um, see, so sev several philosophers argue that all you need to attain godhood is to have enough people believe you're divine, while others claim you need to possess some kind of divine spark to begin with. So, uh, thousand gold. That's that's fair. That's a fair way to do it. So, awesome. Okay, so that that is pretty cool. I'm very happy with this. Um, and then I'm curious to see what she would get uh, as God Empress. So we'll uh, we'll stick around for that, I think. Or should I send Mr. God Emperor out? Uh, what do we got? Twenty three units. We don't really have an army, so um, let's keep Juno here uh, I should deselect Juno and uh, we'll move the rest of the army here and what we'll do is uh, I will let's go ahead and we'll sentry her uh, we'll sentry Brutus and then we'll see what happens with the others oh I probably sentried all of them but we'll wait till we get another thousand and then we'll go back up there so all right so this has been converted um, at this point I don't think we need to support, so we could just work on diesel or uh, taking these forests back. And we'll see if the enemy decides to attack us. Here, uh, let's see. We will. Yeah, I think we will march forward here. So we'll do that. Um, and we're going to push towards this uh, academy here. You're just marching your way down. All right, that is everybody. So we'll go ahead and end turn. Centurion and a Leo, very cool. All right. So they've got 153 units here. That is quite a number. A lot of archers, so that's gonna eat through my troops pretty quickly. So what we may want to do is come and take this tower here and build up some ballistae so that we can use that to clear the walls a bit. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, we're in a great position. We can take out this port on the way as well. And then uh, once we take that over, we'll build up a ballista force and move it up. So Okay. Here. Let's go ahead and kill the boars. All right. Emug. Okay, so we're just going to snag these, and then we'll swing down and grab... Actually, we'll probably snag all of these, then come back down here and grab those. So, definitely staying away from those uh, lake trolls. Alright, we'll go ahead and then turn. Ah, I keep forgetting about that stupid poison. Keep killing my archers. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Let's, let's take care of that. Silly, silly thing. At least the mages are smart enough to stay away, but these archers keep dying. All right, um, who's getting it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, this thing. Poison ore coming from the Hydra Bowl. Hydra Bowl is not my favorite item, for sure. It is uh, by far one of the more annoying items. I never get the Hydra Bowl. Uh, so let me say this. I will never get the Hydra Bowl when I want it. 
which is when I have nothing but troops that are immune to poison. So a perfect example of that would be uh, the Enchanter playthrough I did uh, with all the uh, wood golems and everything that I kept getting. Um, that would have been the perfect time. Let's see. That would have been the perfect time to uh, to get the uh, Hydra Bowl, and I never saw one of them in that playthrough. So... Who knows? Maybe I'll get one in my witch playthrough whenever I get to doing that one. So, all right. So we got another robe of shadows and a spirit ring. Uh, so both of those will be useful. We'll get more people that are going to be able to move freely, like Terminus is able to. So that's awesome. Oh, uh, boom, emug. So more income each and every turn. That much closer to our eventual goal. Centurion for 38 gold. All right. So, crash into this. Uh, at this point, uh, might as well knock out the Solus. Let's go ahead and rock up. Hmm. Looking at my gold here. So, I can go down to about 750 and be okay. So, we'll do that. Um, that'll be perfect. And that way we have a, uh, we can bring those ballista if we want to, to attack their home. So, all right. And uh, there's 27 units, so they're really building up forces here. Um, so we'll have to wait until we achieve godhood with, uh... okay. So he's also got solar rays. That's not great. Okay, he was doing some pretty good damage to my mages, so I was very uh, sad. Okay. All right. So, now we can achieve godhood with our empress, so let's do that. Juno. Apotheosis. Ah, oh, that is a beautiful sprite. Look at that. I mean, sometimes you just gotta just gotta appreciate what you have. So sage magic and mysticism, uh, and she flies. Also, she has her face covered up there. Um, so uh, all plus three. So it's very hard for people to attack them if they don't have the morale for it. But uh, as you can see, uh, divine name, seven strikes of paralysis, uh, magic resistance negates, but with great difficulty. So that's a really good paralysis. Uh, final rest hits the whole battlefield and uh, banishes so that is phenomenal um, and it's not slow so you can cast it every round if you wanted to uh, which will be great against the main stack of our uh, archmage so then you also got fortune enchanted sleep riddles of insanity and slumbering army so this is a battlefield wide uh, sleep uh, let's see. Only affects enemy units, so it won't affect our own units. Riddle of Insanity, Confusion uh, against eight enemies, which can then convert them to our side. So, yeah, this is just this is phenomenal. This is really good. Um, at this point, don't think we need Cleansing Water so much as Divine Names uh, could be useful. So we'll do that. Uh, Torrent of the Sacred River is probably better than holy word so we'll do that and that all right uh, let's see nice okay so happy all right so juno has woken up we'll come here um, we'll go ahead and select everybody because why not and let's go ahead and run a we can't afford a regular recruit here can we oh well um we'll run them Let's see, we can run them up to the mountain stronghold. And we'll get the gold soon, so... Yeah, we'll run them up to the mountain stronghold, and then they can bring recruits from there. So here we can go ahead and do a recruit for ballistae. Or ballistas. And make sure we transfer those. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, probably do four or five recruits of those. Um, so we have about ten or so ballista minimum. And as a matter of fact, since they don't have any armies around here, they might be able to bring one from that. Uh, we might want to bring the ballista from here, but uh, we'll work on that soon. So, in the meantime, let's go ahead and march this army up. And you guys are going to stick it out here for now. So, oops. All right. Somewhere is my friend Emug. Okay. Fannin looks like he took over another troop, probably an archer. All right. I think we're good here. We've spent all our gold. We've got more. Oh, boy. I didn't think about this. I should have recruited here. Lost the capital because I was an idiot. Uh, but we do have some good stuff coming up. So, all right. So we'll go ahead and snag here. Let's go ahead and do a recruit. Oof. Okay. So we definitely want the pyromancer somewhere. But let's go ahead and get ourselves uh, some Astate here, and we'll go ahead and transfer them up. And there was a standard. Looks like he got. Oh, yeah, he was taken by Emug. So, okay. Do another recruit action of Ballistae here. And, uh, yeah, let's grab that Pyromancer and add them to the list of many, many powerful mages. Uh, Pyromancer's great. I love Pyromancers. Um, Emug's moving here. Uh, let's see. We transfer hope if I select Constantine get those two more ballistae all right so at this point I kind of have to march back and retake that capital not because it's worth a lot of money or anything um, it's only two uh, but it does give them another stronghold that we need to make sure they don't take so um, we'll go ahead and head back this way and here we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a couple more ballistae. And uh, with those six ballistae, we can then transfer. And we can begin our march over to their stronghold. All right. So it's going to take them a few rounds. So we can wait a few rounds here and recruit, respectively. And this appears to be our last stack, so we'll go ahead and hit end turn. Yeah, that's annoying. All right, so we got ourselves a golden wizard. Um, oh, actually, we could probably use the golden wizard. So long as we are careful here. We can put ourselves with the golden wizard here. Throw in a couple of those. Some Histade. There we go. And then um, for our troops here, let's go ahead and get some more Ballista. Uh, let's see. Flavius can only go one wood at a time. So we'll come down here and then we'll work our way up. So one. Yep. So we've got a few rounds of that. You guys are going to go ahead and recruit some more Histade. Make sure Todd Bog is taking control of these guys. So we've got ourselves a nice, sizable force. Um, they've only got one job, so let's uh, try to figure out our best route here. Um, if I want to get over and fight, I could come up and knock out this coal mine just to show you what all that spell casting will do against those trolls. So that might be useful there. So we'll see. Um, and then uh, these guys are staying put. Uh, I already did my recruit here, right? Yep. Oh, I'm an idiot. So if I can stop for just a second, I'll do that. Okay, this is the stack I need. 
We're just marching back. As you can see, we're starting to spit out revelers here as well, so very cool. And... Oh. Okay, Morial. Let's see, we can transfer... Those guys. We can kind of wait, uh, so we'll leave him there. So we'll go ahead and turn. Okay, we got five archers. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go this way. These guys. Waiting to see what these guys, or what Flavius can do. So, yeah, we'll move up uh, after this recruit here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the archers. We're gonna grab the ballista, and we're gonna grab the ice druid because more casters. <laughs> this uh, this army is ridiculous with the amount of casters you can get. So Senator is pretty cool for that reason. Um, but we need to transfer up all the ballistae. So let's get that archer. Ballistae. Those archers. All right. We're looking much stronger here. So we'll go ahead and do that. These guys will move this way. Uh, you, sir are going to go this way. Um, 53 units, I'm not worried about. Flavius has already moved. Emug is going to take that. And uh, we still got these two to take, geez. So many of these little villages next to each other. All right, and uh, in terms of recruitment, I think we've hit all the major spots. Yep. I think we're good there. So, go ahead and end turn. Alright, five more archers. Winter is upon us. Uh, let's see. I guess you need to stick to the non-snowy terrain. Uh, you, sir, are going to move right up there. This does slow us down, unfortunately, so we could have probably done another recruit, but... Oh, well. I keep forgetting about winter with these armies sometimes. Um, again, just to make sure, I do have a sizable army, 74, with a bunch of mages. So we'll be able to take on the enemy army that's around here. So, um, so Emug. What did they leave? Five crossbowmen. Those five crossbowmen would normally probably be able to wipe out this army, but... Fireball is a beautiful spell and works really well on troops on the wall. Okay. In this case, I think we're good. We're going to keep the gold going. And there's the enemy again. Ooh, ten Hestade. That's something we have to take advantage of. Uh, let's go ahead and take advantage of it here. As a recruit option. You guys will come down here, and we're going to keep marching our way over. Um, at this point, you're coming up. So, let's see, is it late? It's midwinter. It's going to take them two turns, so we can afford to crash here, and you get to see the wonderful Ballista core going through and doing their damage for sure. So, keep marching. Uh, we're just going to take that right now, because uh, I don't want to risk it right now and lose my wizard. Because they're cool, and they're expensive. Uh, this one. And I believe we're good. I did take advantage of the ten. So assassins and ballista. Great combination. Yeah, more ghouls. Oh, they didn't convert them. That's cool. Alright, archers, animist, and hedge wizard. So, cool. This army may actually combine with this one, and we may just try and find their overall leader and take them out. So, Okay, so we can go ahead and move there. Flavius can then join us. And now we've got the army to take out their home territory. I'm going to go ahead and move there. And at this point, you have control over everything except for this down here. So we're going to go ahead and move our way down that way. 
and he's moving back, so that's concerning. Um, at this point, we're going to run away. And we might as well... I should have probably recruited those down south here. But let's go ahead and do a recruit down here anyways. Um, we'll go ahead and do Hastate. And you'll sentry and sentry. Yeah, I figured he would be really close, so not worth risking. All right, so come up here. We can do a recruit here. Get some Hastate. Make sure we transfer them in. And yeah, let's kill the uh, troll. And here we finally get to go and take out their Academy of Higher Magic. Look at that. Level 3 library. And we've got a ton of gold, so we can learn some cool level 3 spells if we wanted to. All right, we'll take that temple from you. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with your army there. So uh, you guys are going to chill. You are going to chill here. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Pause it so that the sound effects don't override it. So the reason you see the configuration you do with the ballista is to make sure that they're not blocking your troops from advancing, so that gives them gaps and everything like that. So just in case you're curious. As you can see, the blue numbers here are because from the gate it. Uh, Deal shock damage every time you attack it. The melee line got decimated already. That's not good. Spell casting will make up for it though. Now you get to see this. Paralyzed. Very nice. All right. So we got some recruits we can do, but we're going to go ahead and call it here. Um, so congratulations. You got to see Godhood in the making. Um, and uh, we got to crush the uh, territory, uh, the home territory of the Archmage. So we now have the Academy of Higher Magic here. So all of these mages, if they wanted to, uh, if I were to visit the library, oh, it only gives you level two. I was hoping we'd have level three because it is a level three library. But uh, uh, so look, so so we're stuck. Oh, well. Uh, with that, though, um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe as it means a lot to me and our channel, and I really look forward to hearing your comments. So with that, I will bid you guys farewell.